Hello everyone, my name is Nirav Parikh and I am the technical lead for D-Link India Structure Cabling Business and Principal Trainer DCC which is D-Link Certified Cabling Expert. Today we know Structure Cabling Infrastructure has much bigger role than it had in the past. Access to high speed broadband connectivity, rapid growth in internet traffic, variety of bandwidth intensive applications and need for connecting plethora of devices are driving the need for reliable structure cabling infrastructure. High performance data center networks and local area network cannot perform well with inappropriate structure cabling infrastructure in place. We can see dealing copper solution including all three categories, category 6A, category 6 and category 5E, cable and its component. Coming to fiber solution, not only regular indoor outdoor cable and its component are available, but D-Link has pre-terminated cabling MPO solution which is modular and snapping fit design specially for data center and has complete FTTH passive solution. Today's agenda is about D-Link fiber pre-terminated cable solution for data center, D-Link copper CAT 6A solution for data center. Dealing innovative CAT 6A duplex cable design in fiber section which incorporates type of fiber, physical differences between single mode and multi mode fiber. Standards like ITU dash T, G6, Phi2, C and D along with zero water peak and low water peak fiber. Band insensitive fiber construction and lastly different types of fiber cable construction design and their application. So coming to first point of agenda for data center, let us talk about pre-terminated cable and MPO connector. Pre-terminated cabling systems contain factory manufactured cables and modular component with connector already attached to the cable. Connectors are pre-terminated from the factory and there is no need to attach connector to cable through splicing or connecting manually during field installation. In short, you can directly plug and play the cable in the network. All the components have been factory tested and qualified to plug and play in the network. We can have different types of fiber connector like LC, SC, ST, FC. For higher density of fiber, MPO, MTP pre-terminated connector are available. Some of the advantage of pre-terminated cabling solutions are low cost of ownership, quick deployment, high performance and minimize downtime. Now let us discuss what is MPO connector which is factory fitted connector in pre-terminated cabling for higher fiber count. We know different types of fiber connector like SC, LC, FC, ST. Similarly, MPO connectors are nothing but fiber connector comprised of multiple optical fiber. While defined as an array connector having more than two fiber, MPO stands for multi fiber push on connector. The most common type of connector is MPO 12, which has row of 12 fiber. Higher density connectors are also available composed of several rows of 12 fiber, example 24 fiber. MPO 16 are existing in the market which is made up of one row of 16 fiber. Additionally, MPO 32 is made up of two rows of 16 fiber each. MPO connectors can be color coded as seen in the diagram to get easily distinguished between the different types and specification. MPO connector for both single mode and multi mode multi fiber cable. Single mode ferrules are angled at 8 degree. Now this is very important. We can see three different types of polarity which can be used in MPO pre-terminated cabling connectivity. These are the three standardized fiber polarity types. Type A commonly called straight through. Type B commonly called inverted. And type C commonly called twisted pair. Images show D-Link MPO pre-terminated cabling fiber solution connecting two different switches from two different rack. Entire connectivity channel connecting two switches incorporate 12 fiber MPO to MPO patch cord running between the racks 
connecting to the rear of single cassette of 12 fiber in MPO patch panel on each side on both the racks. The channel has 144 core unloaded MPO patch panel, 12 fiber MPO to LC cassette and LC to LC duplex patch cord in both the racks. D-Link MPO adopts band improved fiber design for lower cost, superior installation speed and efficiency. All the product ensure the system performance and quality. Modular and snapping fit design which offer a great convenience to installer at the site for installation as well as future maintenance and services. Dealing pre-terminated MPO series offer the solution from trunk cable to extended trunk cable, choice from 12 to 144 fiber cable, hybrid trunk cable, cassette modules, MPO adapter panel, direct patch panel, patch panel in both MPO classification of G class, normal class and L class, super low loss. So we have spoken on dealing pre-terminated fiber solution for data center. Now coming to second point of agenda, dealing CAT 6A copper solution for data center. Category 6A is dominant and minimum category copper cabling that is required for the data center application today. It supports 10 GBPS application over CAT 6A twisted pair copper. Dealing category 6A cables come in different design construction to support different applications and environment to achieve optimum performance. Images shows different dealing enhanced unshielded and shielded CAT 6A cable categories. Not only the cable, but it is pertinent to have quality component in the network. The dealing superior quality components are designed and engineered to the exact specifications and manufactured under the strict quality control. It is important to select best suitable cable based on the application. For example, in PoE performance, temperature rise of the cable significantly varies with conductor size and cable type like shielded or unshielded. Study shows that shielding construction has advantage over unshielded cable which has better heat dissipation as it facilitates the easy heat transfer compared to unshielded cable. So with higher conductor size and shielding, the ampacity, maximum current carrying capacity of the cable that can be increased for the given deployment condition and its bundle size. Dealing CAT 6A useless FTP LSZH category NN solution has four connector channel performance test certificate by ETL in accordance with latest standard including cable and all its component used in a channel. All the pairs are individually shielded to mitigate the crosstalk, but also makes it suited construction for higher ampacity requirement. Now coming to third point, dealing innovative CAT 6A duplex cable solution for wireless Wi-Fi 6 technology. TIA release TSB 162-A standard, which recommends category 6A cabling for support of wireless LAN to achieve speed and support advances in remote powering technology, the recommended cabling design is to install two category 6A cable per AP to support both current and future wireless technologies. Installing two category 6A cable per AP provides not only optimal PoE performance, but also provide future proofing, design flexibility and potential through link aggregation to have up to 20 gigabits of data for that AP. Wi-Fi 6 has astonished bandwidth up to 10 Gbps, which is only going to increase in future and it is recommended to have two cable. To reduce the installation cost, D-Link has clubbed together two CAT 6A cable to produce duplex CAT 6A cable. Thus, Joining the cables together bring down the installation cost by 20 to 30 percent since you only must pull one single unit of cable instead of two separate cable. So one of the biggest advantage of duplex CAT 6A design is low cost of installation. Let's talk about another interesting topic, fiber optics. 
fiber optic is sending signal from one location to another in the form of modulated light guided through hair thin fiber of glass or plastic. Fiber can transport more information in longer distance in less time than any copper wire or wireless method. Two types of fiber are single mode and multi mode. Kindly check the physical difference for single mode and multi mode fiber. We can see multi mode fiber comes with 62.5 and 50 micron nominal core diameter and single mode core comes at 9 micron nominal diameter. Now let us understand what is low water peak and zero water peak in single mode fiber which is compliant to standard ITU dash T G 652 D. Look at the image properly. We can observe that previously for conventional fiber produced as per standard ITU dash T G 652 A and B as known as International Telecommunication Union Telecommunication Standardization. It was not possible to transmit at 1360 nanometer to 1460 nanometer region of the light spectrum which comes under E band. There is a water peak around 1383 nanometer that is a peak in attenuation, sudden rise in attenuation. Though 1383 wavelength falls into the telecom transmission range, yet it is not used for wide wavelength range transmission such as coarse wave division multiplexing. Because of water peak which has high attenuation compared to wavelength at 1310 nanometer. For better water peak performance than conventional fiber ITU dash T G652 A and B at 1383 nanometer fiber optic industry has defined and established standard ITU dash T G652 C and D and IC 60793 2 50 B1.3 fiber produce as per this latest standard will have attenuation at 1383 nanometer after hydrogen aging equal or lower than at the wavelength 1310 nanometer. OS2 cable is produced as per standard ITU dash T G652 C and D and B1.3 only which is low water peak fiber and can be used for coarse wave division multiplexing. In short we have to use fiber in our network which is low water peak and can be used for entire spectrum. This reduced water peak fiber produced as per standard C and D are considered full spectrum because the reduction of the loss in the water absorption spectral region the E band allows transmission in this previously unusable portion of the spectrum. Reduced water peak fiber can be divided further into two types low water peak and zero water peak. Both low water peak and zero water peak fibers are compliant to standard G652 C and D and the only difference between them lies in the attenuation at 1383 nanometer water peak attenuation as shown in the figure. All other specification remains the same. Low water peak fiber attenuation at 1383 nanometer is less than equal to attenuation at 1310 nanometer. Typical attenuation at 1383 nanometer is less than 0.34 dB per kilometer. And for zero water peak fiber typical attenuation at 1383 nanometer is less than 0.31 dB per kilometer and it is between 0.27 to 0.31 dB per kilometer. So zero water peak fiber has lesser attenuation at 1383 nanometer compared to low water peak fiber. Now let us discuss about band insensitive fiber. Before that we will talk about macro band losses. Optical fiber is sensitive to stress particularly bending. When stressed by bending light in the outer part of the core is no longer guided in the core of the fiber so some is lost coupled from the core into the cladding creating a higher loss that is attenuation in the stress section of the fiber. Band insensitive fiber is designed to allow fiber to bend without affecting the performance. Now let us see how band insensitive fiber solves the issue. 
constructional advantage of band insensitive fiber is it adds a layer of glass around the core of the fiber which has a lower index of refraction that is literally reflects the weakly guided modes back into the core during the tighter band and controls additional attenuation shoot up. Standard ITU dash T G657 band insensitive fiber can be split into two main parts. One G657 A1 and A2 and second G657 B2 and B3 and this subcategories has a minimum band radius from 5 mm to 10 mm which allows much tighter band without impacting any performance. As image shows different dealing cable design for different application. All design can be made using different types of fiber like standard ITU dash T G652D or G657 band insensitive fiber or OM3, OM4, OM5 as per the requirement. Out of all this different construction, let us talk about few construction and their application. Firstly, the design shows simplex cable which are designed for low fiber count premise application. Small and flexible makes it ideal for confined spaces. It can be used for building interconnection, trunking lines direct to telecommunication closet, connectorized patch cord. Similar like simplex, we can have zip cord tight buffer design for patching between the panel. This is very important, dealing innovative solution for specific requirement of aerial cable. Aerial cable connect home and businesses to fiber quickly and cost effectively for long distance transmission. However, all aerial cable face the challenge of isolating damage caused by external impact, particularly vehicle strike and falling trees. In these cases, the high minimum tensile strength and crust resistance of the cable means the cable does not break, resulting the collapse of the pole structure and potential damage to life and property. To address such exclusive requirement, dealing aerial cable is designed which has the required tensile strength and optimum predictable point of breakage. This predictable break load range is below breaking strength of the pole structure, meaning that in the event of vehicle strike, the cable will break first without damaging the supporting pole structure, surrounding property. Further micro module buffer tubes used in the design are much smaller and flexible than regular buffer tube and can be easily stripped off and removed without the use of tool, ensuring easy mid span access for repair. Easy strip flat drop cable has easy removal of jacket which reduces installation cost and time. If additional messenger is added to flat drop cable, it can be used for aerial overhead and manhole installation. Micro module riser cable comes in 8, 12, 24 fiber with high strength yarn for pulling application in duct. A single module can be used without disturbing other module used for FTTH application and multi-story building. Dealing unitube and multi-tube armored construction can be used in both outdoor ducts and direct burial. Dealing hybrid FOC has various application. It provides complete power and data system for IP devices. It is used in small cells, airport and stadium. With Pan India rich, robust product portfolio and excellent service infrastructure, D-Link is regarded as a key market player. Our key forte is that we are end-to-end -end networking player offering both active and passive solution. Hope you have enjoyed the session. For any further details, you can log in to D-Link India website. Thank you.